G'day. Aussie Bonsai bloke here. How you going? Uh, just about to head to the Adelaide Bonsai show today. Pretty excited. Going to go down with a mate and uh, have a look at the trees. See what I can buy as well. Should be good. Cheers. Beautiful morning as you can see. Just going to hop in the old car and cruise off. Okay, I'm at the show, we're in the sales area here with me mate Phil. Hey mate. Yep, both come to have a look. Sales area. Phil won't buy Good. anything, he's saving his money. No, nah, he didn't buy much, he's got a bit of wire. Yeah.
take of the tree? What do you think of the tree? Alright, what do you reckon of the tree, Phil? No good? No, no, it's too messy. What about the one there? Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's, that's a good one. That's good. Nice. What do you like about it, Phil? Well, it's dead straight, but up the top, that's where it's all there. It's brilliant. You know, they say you can't do much with just straight sticks in there for Bondo, but with a head on there like that, you can't go wrong. G'day, welcome back. Well, I've made it home. As you can see, the bonsais are in the back. It's actually a couple of days later because I um, ran out of time to finish the film, but I had a great time at the Adelaide bonsai show. There were some nice trees there, pretty good displays. A lot of the trees there were the same that, same that were there last year, so they could have could have probably maybe put a few different trees in, but you know maybe people don't have that many to put in as a selection um but apart from that it was pretty good a lot of nice trees sales area was pretty good a lot of people buying stock plants i didn't really i actually came home with no green at all got no trees but i did get some pots so i'll show you my pots um the first pot i'm going to show you i'm going to use today because what happened we had a windy day and the um one of my trees fell over and it broke the pot which is a bit of a bugger um so i'll show you that pot and yeah i'm gonna put that tree in that pot straight away so lucky i bought some pots apart from that got a bit of wire a bit of one and a half mil bit of two and a half mil and yeah had a great day with phil and met a few bonsai fans out there and some um like-minded people so that was pretty good Got to catch up and talk bonzo with people. Yeah, great day out. All right, I'll show you the um, broken pot. Well, you won't see the broken pot because I chucked it in the bin, but I'll show you the tree, the tree that was in it. No worries. Cheers. All right, so this is the ash tree which has blown out the pot. Well, it didn't blow out the pot. The pot broke on it. As luck would have it, when it fell off the bench, it um, toppled over and um, landed straight on a rock on the pot, smashed the pot off, clean off. So, as you can see, there's a root system, fairly healthy root system, not bad at all. So, a bit unfortunate because now I'm going to have to waste one of my new pots that I bought. This is my new pot. As you can see, $24. It's not a bad pot. It's almost a good size for that tree. It'll be a little bit too deep for it, but that's all I got. So yeah, a bit of a pity. Would have liked to have put a new tree in there, but it looks like I'm just going to be putting one of my old ones in there. Anyway, shit happens, I suppose. That's part of the doing bonsai. Breaking pots, bad weather. All that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'll I'll put it in there. I'll repot it. And then I'll show you the other pots inside as well. No worries. Cheers for watching. Okay, so these are the other pots I got. Got a um an oval pot here. Thinking about putting in a callistum and which is on a bit of a slant because you don't really want, when you have a round pot, you don't really want a, um, the plant that you choose for it to be straight up and down. You want it to sort of have the apex almost outside the line of the outside of the pot when you're using a round pot. Um, and I've got a clisterman that's on a bit of a lean out there, so I'll show you which one I mean in a minute. Um, so yeah, there's one pot. It's got nice colours too, which will go with the native clisterman. Some really nice sort of dripping of the glaze there. Gives it some nice greens and reds and stuff. 
and that I reckon that'll pop really well with the red flowers of the clistamine when it does start to flower so I'll show you that one after outside also got a um, an oval pot here yeah only $24 fairly big I think that other one was $28 in there fairly big um, and also a flat tray for a forest planting or something like that in the future which is quite big it would be I'd guess 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters maybe no not 50 centimeters but pretty good size maybe 45 centimeters that's pretty good and also another round glazed pot so yeah $28 it's not bad I didn't have too many big pots so that was the main aim of going to the show this year was to try and find some bigger pots unfortunate about that one that broke outside in the wind today because now one of my pots has already been used up and not even on a new tree so that's a bit of a pity fairly rough day outside today no worries I'll just show you the clistamin outside for this pot. Okay, so this is the clistamin I had in mind. As you can see, it's got a nice sort of a root system in there. Bit of dead wood that I carved out. I've done some initial styling to the top of this one. I don't think I did it on a camera, but anyway, as you can see, the top of the tree over here leans, leans quite a bit to the right and then it'll sort of stand up so the apex on this one will be over here so on that round pot the apex will be just outside the outside of the pot a little probably very similar size to this black pot this is in now so the apex is going to be just to the outside of the pot which is going to create a bit more interest so that's going to be the clistamine so you can imagine when it's got flowers on in a few years when it's developed it's going to look pretty cool in that red pot with the green sort of dripping glaze on it the reason you don't want a dead straight upright tree with the apex dead in the middle of the round container is it makes the whole composition look a bit stagnant a bit boring which is why we try to avoid it a little bit you can have you know a stagnant sort of apex over an oval pot or a square pot but just try to avoid it on a round pot I don't have many round pots that's probably the two that I got from the ones I show you are probably the only two I have now, maybe, I think. Yeah. So anyway, just something to think of. So I'll put that clistamine in there and it should look pretty good. Anyway, that's about it for the video. Had a great day at the show. And it'll probably be my yearly outing to the show, I would say. Anyway, cheers for watching Aussie Bonsai Bloke. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.